Hey there guys and welcome back to my channel. Um, if it's your first time here, um, how's it going? <laughs> um, today we are going to be doing a YouTube tag, in particular um, the My Fitness tag. So uh, basically it's 11 questions that I have right here on my phone and we're going to be answering them one by one. So yeah, let's get into it. Okay, question one is... If I never got into bodybuilding or lifting, what would you be doing? Um, when I was a kid, basically all I wanted to do was train martial arts. Uh, that was like my life every night in there. And my ultimate goal was to become a martial arts instructor. So that's what I wanted to be. So I would have pursued that um, a bit further if I didn't get into lifting. My least favorite body part to work out would have to be abs. Just because um, when you isolate the abs, it, <laughs> it's like hell. Um, especially like if you get cramp, abs cramp, it's like right here, kills man. So yeah, definitely that's my least favorite body part to work out. Most favorite uh, body part, shoulders. I don't know why a lot of people will choose like arms or back or chest or whatever but I love working shoulders um, I think I love that shoulder pump <laughs> like it just feels awesome like and you look big you look buff as hell so yeah I, I like shoulders without a doubt 100% no BS Nando's I love that shit. Nando is, is like the best thing to ever happen to planet Earth. Um, chicken is succulent, juicy, beautiful. The fries or the chips taste like really freaking bomb. And they do have healthier options in there as well, which is really, really good. It's like, like instead of getting the rice, instead of getting the fries, you can get the rice or whatever. But yeah, definitely Nando's. Nando's is my shit. Carbs, <laughs> without a doubt, carbs. Why is that even like an option? Like everybody would choose carbs. I don't care who you are, you would choose carbs, man. Carbs are the best. Okay, so I don't have a specific female lifter or bodybuilder that like I crush on per se. For me, it's pretty much any girl out there that's killing it in the gym, you know, making gains, lifting, um, none of that, like, the girls that aren't just, like, freaking doing hip workouts and cardio, you know what I mean, like, and a bit of boxing or Zumba or whatever, like, get away with that shit, like, that's cool and everything, like, do you, but, like, the type of girl that I'd crush on in the fitness industry, she got to lift, and she got to be strong. You know what I mean? Like strong is sexy as hell. Like if you can keep up with me in a workout, like not lift as much weight as me, but like if you can keep up with me, then yo, I'm crushing on you straight up. One food to have zero calories and still taste the same. Hmm. That's a tough one, man. <sighs> Probably fries. Like chips. Like, I really like chips. Specifically, the KFC chips. Those are freaking bomb. So, yeah, the chips from KFC, zero calories. I'll sit there and eat them all bloody day. I'd rather be allowed to lift. Just because, uh, for me, if I got to that point where I got the ideal physique that I wanted, I want to know that I've worked my ass off to get that. I want to know that no matter what, I didn't take no shortcuts. You know what I mean? Like, I want to know that I put the hours into the gym, I lifted the weights, I ate the right foods, all that shit. I don't like shortcuts when it comes to 
lifting. I don't think there are shortcuts. You know what I mean? So yeah, definitely be allowed to lift and work my ass off to get my physique. So definitely my my choice there. My short term goal for now is to um, just make it in powerlifting, um, make the national, states, whatever, whichever one comes first, please. I think it's states first and then nationals. And then if I make it to something like something really big like worlds or whatever, that'd be freaking dope. But uh, for now, the focus is just getting good enough to get the states. And then I'll work on getting to nationals, and then from there. But so like that's short term for now. Long term goal would have to be to open my own gym. Um, I'm already sort of like leaning towards that. Um, but yeah, short long term goal is definitely open up the gym, start my own powerlifting team, and um, like just kill the game pretty much. Like I want to make it so that people know my team and myself in the powerlifting world lifting and competing and everything like that has given me really good drive and focus when it comes to my goals um, so it's made a big impact um, on how I think and how I feel about myself as well you know, I'm very much more confident than I used to be um, when it comes to life pretty much you know, I, I really think that I can achieve my goals if I just focus on them because I've proven that I can do that with my lifts so lifting isn't as hard so if I can do something like that why can't I like carry that into life so I'm trying to apply the stuff that I do in the gym into life so it's given me a really good drive and focus so it's made a really good impact on my life the thing I love most about competition <clears throat> especially powerlifting is that there's a real strong sense of friendship and camaraderie like there's no there's no bullshit pretty much it's like with powerlifting you're either strong or you're not there's no in between you can't fake that shit you know what I mean? like there's you're not gonna get people that aren't strong winning a powerlifting meet or even really competing in a powerlifting meet unless it's like a novice um, but there's a sense of camaraderie in there that, like, when you're behind the curtain or behind the stage or whatever, you hear people cheering for you, and you hear people cheering for other people. There's none of that. Oh, I hope he misses the lift, or you know, there's none of that um, backstabbing bullshit. You know what I mean? And there's a great sense of, I guess, like family, like brotherhood, sort of thing. And I love that about competing in powerlifting competitions. My favourite way to get cardio in is off season. I will do a lot more bag work. Like I'll do a lot more Muay Thai and um, martial arts sort of thing. Because I think martial arts is a really really good way to burn calories and to get into a fat burning zone as well as you get a full body workout as well especially with Muay Thai because you're using the entire body um, and during when I'm preparing for a meet I like to do speed sets so I'll do like four sets of eight or whatever I'll just speed set it's just bang 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 no rest probably like 30 seconds rest and that'll really get, get my heart pumping, get the blood rushing, all that type of stuff. So, yeah, speed sets for on season, uh, martial arts on, or in particular Muay Thai on the off season. All right, guys, that was the last question. So, um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, if you did, give it a thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe, all that type of stuff. And um, I guess that's it for this video. 
and I'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to like, comment, share, all that good stuff. And I guess that's it. One love, guys. Peace out. Love you all.